So this is my latest eBay purchase. Um, 50 of these Luxian Star LEDs. And these are three watters. And uh, it was a pretty good deal, actually. Um, this is the eBay listing. 50 pieces, three watt white high power LED for $20, about £12. And the seller is 2012 top deal. And uh, it's quite interesting how these are presented. They're obviously manufactured on a continuous strip of aluminium. And then this uh, section here is die cut, punched out with some sort of uh, special shaped punch. And then you can see that there are score lines put between the LEDs. And then it's simply a case of bending this backwards and forwards a few times, three or four times, and uh, the individual LEDs break off. Now I said um, that I got 50 and there are only 20 here, and that's because I've put 30 of them on my project board. So here are the other 30 of them, which I've uh, broken off the uh, aluminium strips, and I've mounted them all the way down, down the side of my project board. Um, and to keep the number of screws to a minimum, I've put a screw between uh, each pair of uh, three watt LEDs. Now there are two potential issues here. One is that three watt LEDs mounted on these little star boards, if driven at full power uh, continuously, um, will get very hot. And of course there's no heat sinking here and uh, wood is a very poor thermal conductor. So I'm not gonna drive them at full power and I'm also not gonna drive them continuously. In fact, the idea of this project is to create a sort of running light I want to group these into three groups and then switch them in sequence so it looks like there's movement down the column of LEDs. That's the plan anyway. And then the other potential issue is the screws between the boards are possibly going to electrically connect the, the, the actual board, the substrate. So I need to know whether the uh, LED, either the uh, anode, cathode, positive, negative, terminal are electrically connected to the substrate, the, the board itself, or whether it's completely isolated. Um, there's a convenient hole in the metal strip here, so that's the metal conducting, but it doesn't seem like any of the positive or negative terminals on the individual LEDs are conducting, so I don't think there's going to be a problem with the metal substrate, the board, being electrically connected to its neighbour. I think that's fine. Now the reason that idea entered my head at all was that I was doing some background reading on the Philips LumiLEDs lighting company uh, to try and find out what this Luxian word is because I'd seen it so many times I didn't really understand what it was. And when I read about the Luxian one, here it said um, where is it? Surface mounted on a metal core PCB often required a heat sink due to the large amount of heat they produced. The thermal pad was not electrically isolated and floated at a voltage between the anode and the cathode. And that struck me as very strange because the anode and the cathode are just P and N junctions on a diode. So how on earth would the um, metal core floated a voltage between the two. That just struck me as very odd indeed. Um, and then when you come down to the Luxian Rebel, it talks about an electrically isolated thermal pad. So it kind of just got me thinking, if the thermal pad isn't electrically isolated, um, then there could be some problems. But it does appear that it is in the case of these LEDs. Um, so I'm gonna put that one out of my mind. Now, in order to produce a running light, I'm going to have to wire these LEDs into three series strings. So this first LED will be wired in series with the fourth and the seventh LED. And in fact, what I've done to make this easier is that these three LEDs have their positive uh, to the bottom. These have their negative and then these. So I've, I've switched each group of three round to try and make the wiring a little easier, but it is going to be quite difficult because I've got to wire from that pad across these two to that pad there. 
And I found uh, a, a very manky old reel of wire, which actually quite stunningly says made in England on it. But this is just lightweight um, hookup wire. So I'm now going to start the lengthy process of uh, wiring all these LEDs together. <laughs> 